Welcome to Mondays with Mooch, where every week you and I, Mooch, talk about what's going on in the world of architecture. And this week we're going to be talking about a museum that's inspired by water, an Apple store reminiscent of a tree, a wormhole library, and finally a tower that's made of tables. So sit back, relax, and let's take a look at what's going on on and what's new. So for our first story, Mad Architects, who is an architecture firm that's known for their organic parametric type architecture, has just revealed their wormhole library project. And just to be 100% honest and transparent, I don't really love the aesthetic of this project. I think uh, the project itself is really interesting, but as far as the look goes, it seems to be a little bit uh, too arbitrary for my taste. So I just wanted to share that opinion with you. But at the end of the day, as long as the architect and the client are happy, then that's really all that matters. But anyway, the project, as I mentioned before, is a library and it's located in Haiku, Hainan province in China. And I'm pretty sure I mispronounced that, uh, but I'm sure you guys will let me know the correct pronunciation in the comments as you always do. Anyway, the project aims to allow visitors to remove themselves from the hustle and bustle of daily life and allows you to read and enjoy the view and the breeze of the coast as well as provide a place for open aired performances. It's important to note that back in 2019, the local government launched this plan that basically aimed to rejuvenate the Haiku coastline and enhance the use of public space along it. So a series of pavilions are being planned, but this will be the first one of those to be completed. Now, remember how I said that I didn't really enjoy the overall aesthetics of this project? Well, I feel completely different when I look at the interior shots of this project. I mean, look at that. You, you have to really agree that the spaces that are created inside the project because of its organic form really create an incredible experience. Not only that, but those openings, those holes that are placed around the project allow uh, sunlight to fill the space. Uh, it allows views to the sky. Some allow views to the surrounding areas. It really is an incredible experience. To achieve the visually uh, clean interior that's present in this project, all mechanical, electrical, and plumbing, that's all the MEP, uh, has been concealed within the concrete cavity. And curved sliding doors and a retractable glass curtain wall allow for natural circulation to be achieved and also uh, the cantilevered roof that uh, exists on the sunny, the sunnier side of the project creates an overhang that allows natural light to fill the space while keeping some of that heat away. Uh, the wormhole library is now in construction and will be completed next year and hopefully I can fly over there when it opens and give you guys a proper tour. Now we'll get right back to our cool stories, but before we do, I just wanna mention this video sponsor, which is Autodesk and their software, AutoCAD. And AutoCAD is a computer-aided design software that architects, engineers, and construction professionals rely on to create precise 2D and 3D drawings. It's a great skill for any professional to have as part of their toolbox. Now, AutoCAD includes industry-specific features and libraries for architecture, mechanical design, electrical design, and more, giving you access to over 750,000 intelligent objects and parts with industry libraries. AutoCAD also has powerful mobile and web apps, meaning that you can work from anywhere. You can view, create, edit, and share AutoCAD drawings on mobile devices or any computer and work on the latest drawings at home, at the job site, or even when traveling. It's really convenient. Autodesk also helps you resolve issues quickly. Every subscriber has access to Autodesk support specialists, remote desktop assistant, and online resources. Full access to a knowledge base with help documentation, tutorials, training videos, and community support forums, which I actually take part on all the time. So here's the deal. If you head over to my description now and you click the link that's there, you're gonna be able to download AutoCAD for 30 days for free. It's a 30 day free trial of AutoCAD. And if you do enjoy it and you want to get a three year subscription, they'll give you 10% off just by clicking this link. And even if you don't want three years, AutoCAD and Autodesk provide many flexible term lengths to find the subscription term that best suits your needs. So head over to my description, click the link, download, check it out. And I guarantee you it's going to help you so much in your careers. Now let's get back to these stories and see what other cool things are happening. Now for our next story, Siri Architects are proposing to help mitigate climate change and its negative impacts. And they are proposing to do this 
with tables. The project that I'm referring to is Siri Architects design for the Tower of Tables, which is a concept for a high rise building that would be located in Singapore. Now let's talk about the design and what really makes this design so unique. As you can see, it's essentially a podium made of tables. Each of these tables is basically a module that works like a pavilion that contains four to six floors that will serve as open areas to be used as workspace. The configuration has many advantages. First of all, it really allows for flexible space that can be used to serve as a contemporary workspace. Next, the recess on each section of the module allows for open terrace space that can offer views and space where people can work, gather, and hold meetings. It's a really refreshing take on the concept of working. Now, this setback also allows for more shade to be provided while also maintaining a constant volume of natural sunlight filling the space. This potentially decreases the amount of energy that needs to be used to air condition and light the space. And all of this overlooks an open courtyard, which is also part of the project. Each of these pavilions contains a structural steel frame while the intermediate floors are a hybrid of steel and timber. And by using timber for the four intermediate four plates, the firm states that they are able to achieve a carbon neutral high rise. Next, the new Foster and Partners project called Apple Central World has recently opened in Bangkok. I really enjoy the overall simplicity of this project. I mean, basically it's just two levels. You have ground and second level that contain all of Apple's products. And then you have a hidden basement level where employees and business customers can use. And at the center, you have this tree-like element. It's a, it's a tree-like column element that sprouts out from the ground level and grows to become the canopy of the project project that provides shade and protection from all the natural elements. You then have this curved glass that wraps around the whole entire facade going floor to ceiling, allowing visitors both outside and in to maintain their visual connection. Now this canopy also extends 10 feet from the face of the glass. And what this does is that it allows for shading for those benches that are located on the ground level that have been included on the exterior as part of the project. That central element also contains a vertical circulation that is the stair that spirals up and connects to the second level. And there's also an elevator core. It's really difficult to see that is part uh, of the idea, but it's not placed in the center as you would think. It's actually offset to one of the sides and it's wrapped into a reflective metal that allows it to blend into its surroundings. The store has a diameter of about 80 feet and that central column element is clad in European white oak. Now, our final story is about this cool project that was inspired by a wave. This is for the Wave Museum located on the eastern coast of Tianjin in China. The project, which was designed by Lassime Architects, contains exhibition and public space along with a theater. The exterior features a parametrically developed skin made of apparently more than 13,000 aluminum scales that are used to reflect sunlight and water reflections from the pool that's located on the ground. And it really reminds me of that Scafidio and Renfro project that we covered in our last video. So go check that out. Let me know how this, how you think this project compares to that one, what you think, which one you like better, and, and let me know your overall thoughts on it. I'm really curious to hear about that. As I mentioned at the beginning of this segment, this project was inspired by a wave and by water, and the materiality of the project was chosen to portray that same feeling on the interior as well. So that concludes this week's stories. I really hope that you guys learned something or at least were inspired by these stories and thank you so much for joining me for this week's mondays with mooch i'll see you next time and i'll definitely see you down in the comments take care